in a doggy dog world, you gotta work to survive. These men are professional criminals, and it's time to go to work. Hear your name, Mr. Brown. Got blind, man. You're not blind, you just got blood in your eyes, all right? It's the white. You kill anybody? If you're cops. No real people? It's the blood. You ever listen to K Billy's Super Sounds of the 70s? Mm. Mm. Some of them get a kick out of their work. Hey, Dob, we got a major situation here. Mr. Orange. Some don't. All I know is what Vic told me, man. He said the place turned into a fucking bullet festival. Mr. Pink. Why am I Mr. Pink? Because you're a faggot, all right? Some men you hire to bark, and some to bite. You wanna fuck with me? I'll show you who you're fucking with. You wanna shoot me, you little piece of shit? These men bite reservoir dogs. I didn't know there were folks living this far out. <laughs> well, there aren't. Please sleep. Lived here all alone, huh? Well, that's what hermits do, love. They live alone and they die alone. Is this for real? No electricity, no phone, no running water. The Lord led you here, stranger. Guard my Nell. Nell. Stay back! What the hell is it, Jerry? Put the gun away. Jerry, I can't let you go back in there. We don't even know what that thing is. It's a human being. It's his right. Don't be afraid. <laughs> I haven't had a true wild child in this country for 60 years. She's not a wild child. This woman speaks an unknown language? It's like there's no one else in the world. Can she survive on her own? I don't know. Well, I don't suppose she cannot. Who's gonna look after her? If she's ever gonna leave that cabin, she's gonna need skills she doesn't presently possess. How do you possess. know she wants to leave? Did you ask her? There isn't anybody who speaks her language. Then I guess somebody's gonna have to learn. I hate him. He took advantage of me. He got me hooked on drugs when I was 12. He put me in pornographic films. I pushed him out a window. I killed him. He pulled her back against himself, and she felt his cock against her, like a piece of two by four. I think Thomas was in trouble with Jacques. Do you know your name? No. Keep still. Frank, he doesn't know his name. He's ruined our lives. No, he hasn't. He damaged them, but I'm going to change all that. I'm going to be a mover and a shaker. Will you make love to me? Why? Because I'm an infomaniac. Have you ever had sex? No. How can you be an infomaniac and never had sex? I'm choosy. Do all women have hair between their legs like this? Yeah, I guess most. There's a woman on page 22 who doesn't. I have something that belongs to Mr. Jacques. What do you want, Sophia? A million dollars. Okay. 
You know where Sophia is. Drive. Where to? Just drive. Sophia Ludens. She said you were a very dangerous man. I don't believe you. Please don't hurt me. Why would you be scared of a man who loved you? Whatever it is she's told you, whatever it is I was, this is me now. As far as the three of us go, let's just be friends. No sex. Comfortable, Cameron? Yes, thanks. Have you seen the flat? Yes. And you like it? Yes, it's great. What on earth could make you think we'd want to share a flat like this with someone like you? <laughs> you must be Hugo. And you must be Juliet. Can you open your door? It's us, your flatmates and companions, your new phone friends. <laughs> I've never seen a dead body before. I saw my grandmother, of course, but I don't suppose that counts. I mean, she was alive at the time. It's not every day I find a story in my own flat. It's not a story, Alex. It's a corpse. Can I show you something? It's a sick idea, Alex. It's sick. Well, go ahead, then. Telephone the police. Tell them there's a suitcase full of money, and you don't want it. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's talk about disposal. Who's going to do it? We all are, David. We're all going to do it. Each of us, you, me, and Juliet. I don't think I can. But Juliet, you're a doctor. You kill people every day. Is this necessary? I can't do it. Do you want to play or not? I know you well enough. Oh, you think so? We don't know how much it cost us yet. Let's spend some money. For you two to have a good time, we don't know the cost of that yet. You're frightened. I'm not frightened. Yeah. I'm a little terrified, maybe. <laughs> they went there alive and they came back down dead. Did you notice that? The difference, I mean, alive, dead, dead, alive, that sort of thing. It wasn't difficult to spot. What? I feel bubbly. Oh, hi. Meet me at the all-night store now and wear the outfit. No, not in public. <laughs> you want my big, juicy apples? Just browsing. Go on, peel my top off. I'm gonna have you! You'll see! Oh, yes! If Apple Seduction is taking over your life, call.
abandoned factory, but it's not really safe. That's why we built this fence in front of the wall. Can I get a kiss? Of course. Eli, where did you get this? I feel the texture. It's tough, almost like fabric. But it's not porous. Uh, it's almost impossible to penetrate. A strain with immunity to bugs and pesticide, and a four-week period from planning to harvest, regardless. You're holding a fortune in your hands, Charles. You know, this strain could be exported to people all over the world. I need thy help now. Just go. 